I'm so glad you joined me today as we step metaphorically into space. Today's story is about one of the greatest scientific adventures of our time, the creation and launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. It's a tale of ambition, brilliance, and the kind of persistence that makes you want to shake every engineer's hand. Because you see, JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's a masterpiece of modern science and engineering, the most powerful observatory humanity has ever sent into space, and it's already rewriting what we thought we knew about the cosmos. So let's begin our journey. When we talk about telescopes, many of us think of Hubble, a beloved space telescope launched in 1990 that has been sending back those iconic images of nebulae and galaxies ever since. But while Hubble gave us new perspective on the universe, JWST goes even further. It can peer into regions of space and time that Hubble never could. That's because the JWST observes the universe in the infrared part of the spectrum. Infrared light is what we feel as heat, and crucially, it can pass through cosmic dust that would otherwise block visible light. That means JWST can see into hidden nurseries of stars and glimpse the first galaxies that were formed right after the Big Bang, and even study the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. But all that required some serious technological wizardry and more than a little patience. The story of the JWST begins in the 1990s. Scientists and engineers knew that they needed something they could go beyond Hubble. So they started imagining a telescope that could operate in the infrared, orbit far from Earth, and have a mirror big enough to collect the finest whispers of light from the early universe. The problem? The telescope didn't exist yet, so they had to invent it. Now, if you like videos on all things science and exploration, and want to help out the channel, just hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you're notified any time I upload a new video. JWST would take more than two decades to develop. It was a huge international collaboration between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. And of course, it was enormously expensive. More than $10 billion by the time it was launched in December 2021, there were delays, missed deadlines, technical challenges and budget overruns. It became something of a running joke. The telescope that ate astronomy, as some people called it. But beneath the frustration was something else. Sheer awe-inspiring ambition. Brian Cox, a physicist and broadcaster said, Webb is the most audacious attempt humanity has made to understand its cosmic origins. So let's take a moment to appreciate the engineering brilliance behind the JWST. First, its mirror. Hubble's mirror is 2.4 meters across. JWST's is a whopping 6.5 meters and made up of 18 hexagonal segments, all precisely aligned to act as one. It's coated in a thin layer of gold to reflect infrared light. It had to be folded to fit into a rocket and then unfurled in space, like a cosmic origami flower, blooming 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Then there's the sun shield, to observe faint infrared signals, JWST must be kept incredibly cold, below minus 223 degrees Celsius. So it has a tennis court sized sun shield made of five ultra thin layers of material called captain. This shield blocks heat and light from the sun, earth and moon, allowing the telescope to stay in deep freeze. And finally, the instruments, cameras and spectrographs so sensitive they can detect the heat from a bumblebee on the moon from earth. Together they allow JWST to take pictures and spectra of stars, galaxies and planets. It's like building a Swiss watch that works in space in absolute cold with no chance of repair and it worked. On the 12th of July 2022, the world finally got to see JWST's first images and they were breathtaking. Katie Mack, a theoretical physicist, described JWST thus it's like putting on glasses after being blurry for years and then realizing the stars have secrets we have never imagined. We saw the deepest infrared image of the universe ever taken, full of galaxies that formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. We saw nebulae bursting with newborn stars. We saw the atmosphere of an exoplanet with clear signs of water vapor. It was as though someone had opened a new window on the universe. And the data keeps coming. In its first few years of operation, JWST has already revealed some of the earliest galaxies ever detected, challenging our theories of how quickly structure formed in the universe. Disks of dust and gas around young stars, showing us how planets fought, 
detailed spectra of exoplanets, including signs of carbon dioxide, water, and possibly even methane, a potential indicator of life. The chaotic, clumpy structure of galaxies in the early universe, unlike the neat spirals we see today. And that's just the beginning. But JWST isn't just about beautiful images or new data. It's about answering the really big questions. Like how did the first galaxies form? What were the stars and the planets really made of? And could there be life anywhere else in the universe? These aren't just scientific questions, they're human ones. Because every time we look up at the stars, we're really asking what's out there and what does it mean for us? JWST is helping us start to answer those questions. Not with myths or speculation, but with hard data, stunning imagery, and the finest tools our species could build. The technologies developed for JWST aren't just useful in space. Like so many space innovations, they have broader applications here on Earth too. Take the segmented mirror system, for example. The kind of precise optical control that has implications in fields like laser surgery and advanced manufacturing. The cryogenic cooling systems have potential uses in quantum computing and medical imagery. Even the materials used for the sun shield are inspiring new approaches to insulation and thermal protection. In other words, JWST is pushing forward technology, not just for astronomers, but for all of us. Another thing that makes JWST so special is how it was built, not by one country or one agency, but by a global partnership. NASA led the mission, but the ESA provided the launch and key instruments. The CSA contributed the fine guidance sensor and spectrograph. Thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians from all around the world worked on it for years, often without knowing if it would ever fly. It's a shining example of what we can do when we collaborate across borders and institutions, united by a common goal, to understand the universe. And isn't that just a bit hopeful? In a world often divided, here was a project that brought people together, not for power or profit, but for knowledge. You might be wondering, what's next? JWST is expected to operate for at least 10 years, possibly longer, but it won't be alone for long. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, due to launch later this decade, will focus on dark energy and wide field imaging. The ESA's aerial mission will study the atmospheres of hundreds of exoplanets. And further ahead, scientists are dreaming up missions like the LUVOR and HABEX, space telescopes that might even be able to detect biosignatures on Earth-like planets. Imagine that, not just seeing distant worlds, but sniffing out signs of alien life. In that sense, JWST is just the beginning. It's a pathfinder, blazing the trail for even greater discoveries to come. Already JWST has forced us to rethink some fundamental things. Galaxies seem to have formed earlier and faster than expected. Planet formation may be more chaotic than we thought. And the sheer diversity of exoplanets, hot, cold, giant, tiny, some with clouds, some with exotic atmospheres, reminds us just how weird and wonderful the universe really is. Scientists are refining models of cosmic evolution, re-examining their assumptions, and in some cases, scratching their heads in delighted confusion. And that's exactly what good science does. It surprises us. Of course, JWST isn't just a scientific instrument. It's also a cultural one. Its images are shared everywhere. They're on posters, phone backgrounds, and covers of magazines. They're in classrooms and in museums. They've rekindled that childlike wonder that many of us feel when we gaze up at the night sky. And maybe that's the most beautiful thing about JWST. It reminds us that we're part of something vast, ancient, and beautiful. That our curiosity, our ability to wonder, is one of our defining traits as a species. When we look at those glittering galaxies, we're not just looking out, we're looking in. We're exploring what it means to be human in a universe filled with possibility. So what will JWST's legacy be? Certainly, it will transform our understanding of the cosmos. It will inspire future missions. It will raise new questions and maybe bring us closer to answering an age-old question, are we alone in the universe? But it also leads us with a more immediate lesson, that bold ideas take time that progress isn't always linear, and that when we dream big, collaborate, and persist, we can achieve the extraordinary. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just a feat of engineering or scientific breakthrough. It's a symbol of what we can do when we dare to look beyond our horizons. And now thanks to JWST, those horizons are wider than ever.
Thanks for watching.